I'm Scott Knowlton. With the PCI Express 4.0 Draft 0.7 release in November 2016, you can start designing your high-performance PCI Express 4.0-based SOCs with confidence now. Why? Because the PCI Express 4.0 Draft 0.7 specification has a complete set of functional requirements and methods defined. And no new functionality may be added to the specification after this release. Also, before the release of the 0.7 version, the electrical specifications were required to be validated via test silicon. Before we continue, let's take a quick snapshot of what's new in the latest release of the PCI Express 4.0 specification. As you can see, the list of enhancements is pretty long, but I'd like to highlight a few key items like lane margining, scaled credits, and increased tags. So lane margining at the receiver is the most significant addition to the 0.7 draft specification. Lane margining allows software to evaluate how much margin exists on each lane of the PCI Express channel. The specification defines a set of registers and a basic command set whereby the host software can instruct each receiver in a PCI Express channel to move its sampling point in both time and optionally voltage. This determines roughly how wide and how high the signal I is at the receiver before getting errors. The lane margining feature is intended for use as a system diagnostic tool to provide an approximate measurement of the PCI Express channel and not a measurement of the quality of the receiver. Lane margining support is required of all PCI Express 4.0 devices. However, use of lane margining is not required to run at 16 gig. Also, implementation of this feature in an SOC requires close cooperation between a PCI Express 4.0 controller, PHY, and the software. Certain devices with specific workloads might not be able to fully utilize the 16 gig data rate with the existing limits on credits and extending transactions. To address this, the draft 0.7 specification expanded the tag field in the PCI Express 4.0 packet header from 8 bits to 10 bits. All devices implementing the 16 gig signaling rate are required to support receiving 10-bit tags, but may choose whether or not to generate them based on their own needs. Therefore, all designers of PCI Express 4.0 16 gig devices will need to expand the receive tag tracking logic to handle the larger tag. But they can continue to rely on header credits to throttle the total number of simultaneous requests they must accept. To support full utilization of the additional tags, the PCI Express 4.0 specification defines a scaling scheme for the flow control credit mechanisms. Devices requiring more credit than previously available can now advertise an optional scaling factor of either 4x or 16x, whereby each numeric credit in the protocol actually represents 4 or 16 credits respectively. Here again, all devices implementing PCI Express 4.0 at 16 gig are required to support their link partner scaling by 4x or 16x, but are permitted to use 1x scaling for their own credits if desired. The PCI Express 4.0 Draft 0.7 specification delivers many enhancements. In this video, we highlighted scaled credits and widened tags for improved link bandwidth and lane margining at the receiver for system designers to assess the performance variation tolerance of their system. At Synopsys, we have a multitude of customers that are using our PCI Express 4.0 solutions to design SOCs for a range of applications from computers and workstations to automotive and cloud computing. The Designware IP solutions for PCI Express 4.0 support the Draft 0.7 and Pipe 4.4 specifications and are available now. The complete high-performance IP solution consisting of FIs, controllers, and verification IP is silicon proven and supports a wide range of foundry process nodes. For more information, visit synopsis.com. Thank you for watching.